Recently, President Museveni rebuked the country's army and police for their heavy-handedness while conducting arrests and operations. The issue of the human rights of the people of Uganda, this was the main reason, one of the main reasons why the NRM went to, to the bush and why we fought all those years from 1971. Don't beat members of the public. Don't beat even criminals. However, human rights activists say the recent conduct of security operatives during arrests of Kawempe North MP Mohamed Sejirinya, Machi India East MP Alan Sewanyana, and the Victoria University Vice Chancellor Dr. Lawrence Moganga is a sign that the President's words have fallen on deaf ears. <laughs> At the beginning of September this year, the manner in which the Vice Chancellor of Victoria University, Dr. Lawrence, was arrested was in total disregard to the President's directive to security operatives to stop violating rights of suspects. The arrest of Muganga exposed more brutality when security officers did not spare their own Barbara Nagudi, a bodyguard to Dr. Muganga. Another slap in the face of the president's directive on torture and use of excessive force came day during the arrest of Kawempe North MP Mohamed Sejirinya. <laughs> In both instances, security operatives are heavily armed to the extent of pointing guns at unarmed suspects. Force can only be allowed if the citizen poses a danger to the security officer or has in his or her possession any weapon that is likely to cause a threat to his or her life. Security officers are required to arrest that individual through a prescribed procedure, which includes informing that citizen what the possible offense is, identifying themselves to that particular citizen, and if the citizen in no way behaves contrary, to invite him or her to a police station where he or she can be charged. So we need to see, we already have a court order saying civilians should not be tried in a court martial, so why is the army arresting a civilian? These are questions that need to be answered. The horror does not spare other innocent people around the scenes of the arrests as they are left terrified. Dragging, binding or tying up a suspect who has already submitted to authority is considered unreasonable and unnecessary force. However, recent arrests have left many Ugandans skeptical as to whether the security operatives are indeed custodians of the law. Human rights activists are disappointed that the president is only looking on directives to security forces over excessive use of force while conducting arrests. would like to uh, appeal to the president, to the, His Excellency the president. He, he set a very good tone when he released a statement about his security forces not, not respecting the rule of law, especially in incarceration and, and, and kidnap of, of civilians. We saw this happen yesterday. However, the activists are hopeful that the international scene will soon put pressure on authorities in Uganda to stop the violations of human rights. Under the Universal Periodic Review, it will explain to other, other UN member states why these acts of abuse are continuing. Patrick Senyondo, NTV.